Hi, my name is Ginny. I am a teacher and a mom of a one-year-old named Alice, and today I am going to tell you all about the different essentials for baby bathing from zero months all the way to 12 months. The way I'm going to break this video up is actually going to be starting with zero to six months, and then I'm also going to talk about baby bath essentials from six to 12 months. Okay, so let's start with newborn all the way to six month bath essentials. So the first thing you're going to need is actually going to be a bath. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can actually use your sink if you have a sink big enough. For us, we actually were very lucky and we wound up using the tub that was given to us from the NICU. My daughter is a NICU grad and they gave us a tub, but I'm gonna have some suggestions too down below for different brands of bath bathtubs that are similar to the tub that we use. But first, let me show you the tub that we use. So this is the tub we use. It's called a turtle tub. And I know it looks really big, but it's actually not that big. And what I like about it, it has this nice slope in it and it has a little spot for baby's feet down here at the bottom. My favorite part about the turtle tub though, which I have not seen many baths that have this, is down here there's actually like a indicator of temperature. So you can actually determine whether or not bath is too hot or cold for baby. So we were given this by the NICU and they used it in the NICU. I will post a picture of my daughter's first bath in this tub so you can check it out. Super, super cute. She was so little. But we actually used this tub all the way up to six months. Now she wound up getting pretty big in it, and once she started being able to kind of want to sit up a little bit more, that's when we had to switch away from the turtle tub. But this thing was great, and if you get a tub, an infant tub that has a slope like this in the back of it, honestly, it's probably gonna be great for about the first six months. So don't worry about getting something and be worrying that's only gonna be good for six months. You're gonna use it a lot. But they also have convertible tubs that have slings in them, and those might be really good too because we actually have two separate tubs. We have this guy, and then we have a tub for six to 12 months. But if you're looking to save a little bit of money, I would get one of the ones that have a sling in it that also has a horn for where a baby can sit when they're a little bit older. So that's another option too as far as the tub goes. So item number two that we found to be super, super critical when we were bathing our daughter was actually swaddles, believe it or not. These are the swaddles that we have. We have three different swaddles here. Any swaddles will do just fine. As you can see, this one you probably recognize or you will because it's in every hospital ever, I swear. Um, but the NICU actually showed us how to do a swaddle bath and we found that our daughter really preferred a swaddle bath over just having a bath in general. So that's something that we did every single time that we bathed her is we swaddled her first and then we put her in the swaddle into the bath. And once my second daughter is born, I'm definitely gonna record a video on how to do a swaddle bath because we thought that knowledge was invaluable from the NICU. So it's definitely something I would recommend that you do. All you need are some swaddles, which you probably already have, or you will after you leave the hospital, and your infant tub. So you just swaddle them up and you put them in the bathtub. So might be a little bit less common of a thing for bath time, but we really, swear by swaddle baths. It makes things a lot more comfortable for them. Baby gets less cold because they're covered um, and they just really like the feeling of being a swaddled while in that warm water. The next thing you're going to need are some towels. Of course, you're gonna need some baby towels and luckily for you, they make them super cute. So this is an example of one of the towels that we have for Alice. It's got a hood on it. Um, this one is a little bit small, but it's perfect for zero to six month babies. It will cover them completely. I wanna say, yeah, this one is Cloud Island, so it's from Target, but we have some that are from Amazon. We have some that are from all over the place. They're, any store you really go will have baby bath towels, but any that have a hood are super good because their little heads get cold. And I'll give you another tip that I learned from my mother <laughs> um, and my daughter loved it. Throw your towel, if you have a dryer, throw your towel in the dryer just for two minutes before the end of bath time. And once you take baby out of the bath, they get a lot less upset because they have a really warm towel to be put into. So if you take baths, think about when you get out sometimes how cold it is and how much worse it will be for baby. So that's just a tip that I suggest if you have, um, if you happen to have a dryer at home that tends to help them out a little bit. So we will do that on cold days when I know that she's gonna be fussy when she gets out of the bath. The next item that I consider a bath essential for newborns or zero to six months is actually gonna be a little scalp massager. Now, you might not need this if you have a baby that doesn't have any issues with any sort of dry scalp, um, but it is kind of a nice little massager. And this one is from, this one's from Frida Baby. 
and I will put a link down below so if you want to get this little massager. It actually came as a set, as a cradle cap set, but we really just used this one because I liked that it had two different textures on it. There's a like a larger bumpy texture and then a, a thinner texture there at the top. So we really liked this one um, and we used it all the time. We use it every time my daughter had a bath. She really liked it too. It, it seems really comfortable and you can use this past six months. There's nothing that says you can't use this past six months. Obviously, if you're giving baby a bath, you need to give baby something to be washed with. So for us, we actually really liked this brand, Puracy. Um, this is the brand here. So we bought this brand at Target and we really like it. It smells wonderful and it worked great for our baby. It did not irritate her skin at all. It has all natural ingredients um, and usually they have um, either sales or coupons on them if you look online um, But we really like this brand and we like that. It's a local brand. It's made in Texas I'm um, not local necessarily to me. I'm in Georgia, but we like that it is made here and we're supporting a small business And like I said, it smells wonderful and it did not have any issues with our daughter's skin So this is just an idea any wash though will probably be fine You'll have to find the wash that does not irritate your baby's skin because when they're a newborn or even when they're three months or four months old Sometimes their skin can get irritated based on what you're using. So this is just what we used. It's called Puracy, and we got the Citrus Grove scent. So we really like this stuff. The last thing that I want to mention for newborn bath essentials is actually gonna be some nighttime lotion. So we actually just used the, the Johnson & Johnson Nighttime Lavender Lotion. It, if this scent bothers your baby's skin, there's tons of lotions out there that are unscented, um, but we just like this one because it's a pretty cheap one. I like the smell of lavender. It did not irritate my daughter's skin. So we actually, we still use it today, believe it or not. So get in the habit of giving baby a massage after the bath. It really uh, calms them down, especially if you're doing bath as part of your nighttime routine. We love using this. We're actually almost out of this. Um, this is why normally we store it like this, upside down. But we use it every single night and we basically give our daughter a massage right before she gets changed into her pajamas and we take her to bed. So just any sort of nighttime lotion to keep baby skin nice and moist will be very helpful. Okay, six to 12 months. How is six to 12 months different than zero to six months? Well, every baby is different and it doesn't necessarily have to be that different. But what we found was our daughter First of all, she did not fit in her infant tub anymore at six months. And second, she was a much more active baby. So we had to switch how we were going to be doing baths. So the first thing I wanna show you is actually the tub that we use. This tub is a little bit unique and it might not work for everybody, but I wanted to show it to you in case it might work for you as well. So it's pretty big, but this is the tub that we use. It is called the Baby OK and it is made in Italy. So it actually has like a little horn in it, you can see where they can sit and it actually gets filled up pretty high because it's actually a pretty big tub. You can see how big it is from me holding it. Now it's not too heavy. Another cool thing I like about this tub is it actually I don't know if you could see it but it has a drain hole down here you can kind of see where my fingers throw it it has a drain hole and a key so you can actually fill the tub and then drain it just like you would any other normal tub the reason we have this instead of one of the bath seats that go in the tub is because of the fact that I was trying to save a little bit of water and I also wanted my daughter to be able to have a tub that was a little bit more full so she could splash around and have a little bit more fun with it item number two that is super important for us with our six to 12 months old is actually something to entertain them. So I'm gonna show you what we use to entertain our daughter. There are so many different bath toys out there. You really can't go wrong as long as you pick one that your child seems to like. These are the bath toys that we use with our daughter. They are from the Disney store, from shopdisney.com. And we really like them, not only because they're Winnie the Pooh, but because they don't have holes in them. I'm paranoid and I just worry about mold growing in the toys that have holes in them. So I wanted to show you a couple of them. They're super cute and we actually go over them each night. Um, the names of the characters and the animal sounds that they might make for the ones that we know the sounds of. Kangaroo, I don't really know the sound of, so we just say boing, boing, boing for the kangaroo. We just really like these because not only is the bag mesh, but it has these little suction cups well, you can see them, these little suction cups on here as well, where you can suction them to the side of the bathtub. So we use these pretty much every single night with Alice. I will show you a little uh, clip right here of her enjoying her bath time. Do you like your bath? Do you like your bath? The next essential that I wanted to mention that we use every single night is something to dump water on your baby. You could probably see it over there. Um, but it's actually 
We use this little whale scoop. Um, I like it because it has a lot of water that will fit in here and it actually has this little lip too. Now this lip does not work excellently um, as far as pouring water over baby's head because as you'll realize from six to 12 months, getting baby to tilt their head back is not necessarily easy. So I will show you something else that we use ourselves to keep the water out of baby's ears and face. So, but this guy is super, super helpful for just rinsing off you know, a head or any other arms or things that you need to rinse off. And they're, they're actually pretty cheap too. So we really like this little whale. And I will link everything down below that I can find so that if you're interested in it, you can buy it too. So the next thing I wanted to mention is what we actually use for keeping water out of my daughter's face and out of her ears. And it's actually something that I found in Korea first, but we bought it in America on um, Amazon. So I wanted to show you this very silly bath hat. I'll show you a picture of Alice wearing it. And now I'll show you what it looks like. It just looks like this. It's basically just a ring with plastic and it's got this little soft silicone-ish plastic edge around the middle. And all you do is you stick baby's head through it, kind of like this, and you flip it up and it keeps the water out when you're pouring water over their head when you're rinsing their head. So we love this thing. I think it was maybe like $8, so it really isn't very expensive. This thing has been a lifesaver. We recently got it actually because we kept having issues with water falling into my daughter's face or in her ears and we just didn't want that to happen as much so we actually use this all the time now. I know the hole looks small and it will leave a tiny indentation on their forehead but it's just for a second. When you take it off it's gone. So um, don't panic if it looks like it's small and you have a, a baby with a big head. It will fit. It stretches a lot as you can see here. It stretches a ton. So six to twelve months we had to change what we did as far as washing baby. And if you're having issues with cradle crap, then this section will probably be very helpful for you. This is something that developed between six and 12 months for us because of the fact that the weather changed. It was becoming very cold. She had a lot more um, scabs on her on her head, so we actually had to swap what we were using, which we loved, um, but we had to swap from the Puracy over to something different. So I'm gonna show you the three different things that we use for cradle cap um, and just washing her in general now. So the first thing that we actually changed to use was actually a Mustela wash. So this is just the body wash that we use. I really like the Mustela brand. They're really solid. Anytime you look up reviews for them, everybody swears by them. They are a little pricey. So I wanna say this wash was around $12, but it's still pretty full. We've been using it every single night for the last two or three months and it's not empty yet. So we really, really like this wash. It's helped with some of the dry patches on her skin. Now it didn't help entirely and we'll get into something else that we use for her as well in just a minute. But we really like this Mistella wash. We use it on her body um, during bath time. The next item we really like for Cradle Cap and the game changer for us has actually been the, once again with Stella, but the foaming shampoo. So this stuff actually is, again, Mistella is a little expensive, but this stuff really, really works super well. So we love this stuff. We are a big fan. It, um, you only really need probably about one squirt of it and it's a foam. And you put the foam on baby's head, you let it sit for about a minute and then you rinse it off. So what we'll do usually is we'll put it on Alice's head. We will um, obviously have the bath hat on that I showed you. And we will just show her all the different Winnie the Pooh animals for a minute and then we will rinse it off. But we love this stuff. It has worked really, really well. She does not have anything on her scalp anymore, any sort of dry patches. We really like the um, Mistella foaming gel. It's okay, so we've covered during the bath, so let's talk about what we use after the bath. Since I've been talking about cradle cap, I'm gonna start with what we use after the bath to put on her head that has been very, very helpful. So what we use after the bath, again, <laughs> Mistella, I swear I'm not sponsored by them, I just really like their products. So Mistella has this cradle cap cream and it literally is called cradle cap cream by Mustela. We use it on her scalp. You really don't need much at all, just a tiny bit. And we rub it on her scalp and it keeps everything nice and moist. And it's not super greasy either, which I like. It doesn't look like, you know, you've just put a bunch of hair gel on baby's head. So we use this uh, cradle cap cream after the bath to make sure that her scalp stays, stays nice and moist, especially because um, in those colder months or those windier months, it can be really hard on baby's scalp. But you can have cradle cap anytime. So if you're having issues with it, this stuff is great. The other part of our daughter's after bath routine is actually using a cold cream on her face. She tends to have issues with um, with skin, just like mom, um, on her face. So we actually have a Mustela cold cream that we really like and it actually smells really, really nice. And it just says, um, 
Mostella Baby Nourishing Cream with Cold Cream. And it's basically for the face specifically. So we only use this on her face and that's it. And we really, really like this stuff too. It has been a lifesaver and we've had this since she was probably three months old and we use it every time she takes a bath and we're still not out of it. I mean, it's a little bit low now, but you really don't need much of it because their faces are so small. Um, you only need a, a teeny bit. We basically put it um, in her, her T-zone um, and that's it. That's all we use this for. The last thing that I wanna mention, and I'm mentioning it in the six to 12 because if you've seen my daughter, you know that she does not have a lot of hair, is actually going to be a little bristle brush. So this little bristle brush, bristle brush I got on Amazon, I wanna say it was maybe $5. Super, super soft, great for brushing the hair. And now that my daughter has slightly longer hair in the back, we've started using a brush. But if you have a baby with a full head of hair, you'd probably need this sooner. So I definitely recommend checking out Amazon, getting one of these nice soft brushes, but every hair, hair texture is different. So your baby might need something that's a little bit different but for us this tends to work just fine <laughs> thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope you will consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and i will see you next time